John Oaks here with Hanco Motors. Um, we're going to go ahead and show you our latest installment to our inventory and what a piece this thing is. It's a 1967 Chevy C10 pickup truck uh, and this thing is just gorgeous from bottom to top. Um, we'll go ahead and just pinpoint out a few things here but again this whole truck is just a it's just a work of art here. Um, starting with the underside under the back here We've got a new fuel cell here, or not fuel cell, but fuel tank, I should say. Um, and it's got uh, a cage built around it. That's all new, all painted up nice, uh, just like the rest of the stuff under the truck here. Um, our rear end that's in this truck, this is a 12 volt rear. It's a 373 gear in that pumpkin. And this is a posi unit, uh, and it's just super, super nice. Uh, you can see there when you spin one tire, the opposite side goes the other way. So that's the true mark of a posi rear there. Okay. Uh, also on this rear end, you've got a panner bar. And that's what locates the rear end in this thing side to side. All new shocks, um, all four corners. So you've got the two back, two front. Um, all of your suspension arms, both in the back here and up front when we get there. Everything is all painted up nice. Again, this truck was a complete frame off uh, restoration and everything on this thing is practically new or rebuilt at some point in time here. Uh, as we work our way forward here, out at the ends here, the rear end, we do have drum brakes. Um, up front is this, uh, and these are gonna be power brakes on this truck, but we'll get to the front ones when we get there. The wheels out here at the ends here. 20 inch wheels the whole way around, and these are polished aluminum Riddler wheels. Uh, and then they have uh, some pretty big rubber wrapped around them. On the back, we have 275 45R20s. Up front, we have 255 45R20s. Um, so it just gives that truck a real nice look, real nice stance the whole way around. Underneath the center of this beautiful truck again, um, you'll notice. Everything's just painted up beautiful in here. Drive shaft even, all painted black. Your suspension arm is black. The chassis, the floors, that's all painted black. Again, your floors, um, the whole way around, there's, there's no patching. It's all uh, you know stamped pans. Um, the floor itself and the bed, it's painted and undercoated. The floor the whole way up towards the front, all painted and undercoated as well. Um, the rockers are all in excellent condition on this thing. Again, you can just, you know, looking through the camera's eye here, you can just see how nice this thing is. Nice cross member here that has the uh, dry shaft loop in it. The exhaust system, um, dual exhaust, Flowmaster mufflers, um, and then you have the those squeeze clamps um, that everybody seems to be using now for the exhaust. Makes installation. Uh, so nice on those exhaust systems. Um, as we come a little further forward here, we've got a turbo 350 transmission uh, and that has a shift kit in it. Um, you also have a B&M 2400 stall speed converter up here also and all of that is hooked up to a 350 Chevy engine. Uh, on your transmission you have this finned aluminum uh, cover here that kind of helps with a little bit of the heat there and then also on this truck we have this fin aluminum tranny cooler under here um, to help keep everything nice and cool and good operating temperatures on that transmission and now to finish up under the front of our truck here we'll just start out here at the uh, outer edge here and work our way across the front uh, again, I already mentioned those 20 inch Riddler wheels with 255, 45, 20 rubber on them. Uh, we've got uh, disc brakes up front. Again, those are power disc brakes. Um, the spindles on this truck, they're a drop spindle, so it helps give it that lowered look. Um, your suspension arms, the lower control arms, the upper A arms, those are still all of your stamped uh, steel components, uh, and those are in excellent condition. Um, you've got this front sway bar here, all of your bushings, all of your rubbers, your boots on your tie rods, ball joints, all of that stuff is in excellent condition. New shocks again up front here, I just mentioned those for in the back, it's got all new uh, shocks the whole way around. 
Uh, again, your drag length, uh, pitman arms, everything, just all new, all excellent condition. Everything painted, cross members in good condition as well. Um, and that's uh, essentially um, power steering. I did forget to mention that. Other than that, that's really it for underneath the front of the truck. Not that that's it. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, but again, this truck is just, just gorgeous underneath. All right, now that we've been through the underside of the truck, we're going to go ahead and go through the outside here and take a look on the inside as well. Uh, but again, we have our 1967 Chevy C10 pickup truck here. Again, there's a lot to say about this truck, yet not a whole lot to say about it. It really doesn't have a whole lot of things on the outside here uh, to point out. Uh, but what is here, pictures can speak for themselves, video can speak for themselves. But we have an all steel body. Everything on this truck is laser straight. This was, again, a frame off restoration. Every nut and bolt, every component on this thing has either been replaced or rebuilt. So everything is all like new on this truck. All the panel fitment is in, is good uh, on this truck. As far as your door gaps, elevations, that stuff is all just as good as you can get. Uh, the hood, again, all steel, factory original. It fits really good, too, on this truck. Um, the glass excellent condition there's no nicks chips anything like that on any of the glass um, as far as wheels go um, they have uh, replaced uh, factory wheels with 20 by 8 uh, up front 20 by 10 on the back these are polished aluminum Riddler wheels uh, and they're wrapped again in that uh, low profile uh, tires they're 255 45 20s up front 275 45 20s on the back um, we got beautifully chrome front and rear bumpers you'll see those as we work our way around the truck um, we'll go ahead and open up the door take a look on the inside here uh, again the inside of the door panels here the door jam areas both on the door back at the jam there um, those painted up just as nice it could be just as nice as the rest of the truck I'm gonna walk around the door here on the inside, you see this beautiful interior. It's got the white door panels, white bench seat up front here. Now the dash is a factory dash. It's got the black dash pad on it. It does have the factory original gauges in the dash itself, but we do have a few aftermarket gauges as well. And they're white face gauges. We've got oil, water, and bolts for your aftermarket white face gauges. Got a custom auto sound radio in there as well, AM, FM radio, works really good. Got white sun visors up there to help set that off here next to the roof. Again, the whole inside of the cab, door panels, everything, that's all been painted blue, but you do have the white upholstery. You've got black carpeting, that black dash pad as well that I've already mentioned. We'll go ahead and close this up. It closes very nice, that gear, that nice solid uh, shut there that it does again door gaps real nice the bed uh, again just laser straight panels the inside of the bed as well we can take a look at here on our later video here when we do the back side here it's all painted just as nice as the rest of this truck um, and again working our way to the back uh, we'll just bring our camera back here and show you too but again beautifully chromed rear bumper as well tailgate all steel as well laser straight Okay, now that we're here on the back side of our truck, again, you can take a look. Lens covers on the taillights, on the backup lights, those are all brand new. Uh, just no cracks, nothing in those. Again, brand new stuff. That chrome rear bumper, beautiful chrome on it, not a mark on it. We'll go ahead and open up our tailgate, and it does open. It is all steel as well. It's hinged and hung, so you don't have to worry about uh, anything falling there. Uh, a lot of trucks you see have the chains and stuff, but this is actually hinged real nice. As you can see, the hinges, those are all painted up too. And again, your bed, all painted up, never been anything in this bed. The tailgate, nothing ever was against it. And you can just see all of the nuts and bolts that make this, uh, that uh, assemble that bed. They're all Allen headed screws that go in there. Very nice. You see the wheel wells, those are painted the exact same color as the truck all finished off uh, in that blue paint uh, I believe which is a Nissan coated paint color so we'll go ahead and shut this back up you hear that
that close nice and snug there. Again, your your gaps here on your tailgate, all very good there. As far as just as good as you can get on a truck like this. Okay, and now we're going to work our way from back to front again. Uh, those panels on that bed just as nice and straight as you can imagine. Uh, again, those Riddler wheels front and back uh, wrapped in that rubber there. Now, again, the name brand on the rubber, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it. Um, it's S-A-I-L-U-N, Salon. Uh, again, but the, all the tread, uh, just they're brand new wheels and tires. They were just put on this vehicle. Um, now, this vehicle does have lowering blocks on the back. It does have drop spindles up front. That gives it that nice lowered stance that you see here. Uh, again, they really didn't do a whole lot on the outside for flash and flare. They uh, All the trim, as you can see, there's no wheel well trim on it. They just kept it a nice, clean look. Uh, again, just laser straight sides, uh, just to kind of put the emphasis on the quality of paint and bodywork that was done here on this truck. Uh, all of your hardware, door handles, locks, stuff like that, that's all in excellent condition as well. We'll open up the door from this side. And again, we'll show you inside the door. Uh, again, painted up just like the rest of the truck. Uh, the bottoms of the doors, everything, just as nice as you can be. Door jam, the rocker, the sill, and your threshold plates, all excellent condition. Uh, also on the inside, you do have uh, speakers in the kick panels there too uh, to, to go along with that custom auto sound radio. We'll go ahead and shut this. And uh, just walk our way to the front here again. That all steel hood, the windshield's in excellent condition, the Riddler wheels there, and again, the name brand on the tires it is matching front and rear, so you'll have no problem there. Uh, you know, aftermarket tires, whenever you decide to replace them, you can go right and get those same ones if you want. Back up to the front of the truck now. You'll see that beautifully chromed front bumper. Uh, you see the trim around the grill here. Uh, all nicely polished, uh, you know, chrome there. Um, what we'll do now is we're going to go ahead and pop that hood. And I'll show you what makes this truck go. And under the hood, you'll see it's painted up. Same as what the rest of the truck is. Um, your inner fender wells. They actually even painted those. They're nice, um, you know, uh, uh, black painted uh, fender wells there. Uh, dropped inside this is a 350 Chevy motor. Um, now it has a few things added on to it, some bolt-on stuff that make it run a lot better. Uh, first, starting at the top here, we've got a K&N air filter. A uh, nice big air filter, so it'll suck a lot of air down there to help with that. Um, we've got a Holly Street Avenger. Uh, dual feed four barrel carburetor and that does have the electric choke on it we've got an Edelbrock air gap aluminum intake uh, you'll see here and you'll notice it's got fabricated aluminum valve covers on it gives it kind of a nice racy look there you've got GM performance parts heads aluminum heads these are the fast burn heads too so they'll they make that uh, motor really breathe good uh, we've got an aluminum water pump uh, we've got Hedman headers, long tube headers, uh, with a complete dole exhaust back there, as I mentioned, on the underside of the vehicle, the Flowmaster 44s. And then the exhaust actually does exit out just in front of the rear tires, too, on this vehicle. Um, we've got aluminum pulleys. We've got an aluminum radiator to help cool. And we've got dual electric fans in there also. Um, that way they just kind of take some of that rotating weight off the front of the motor there. We've got power brakes. Uh, those are front disc brakes, rear drum brakes. We've got power steering in there as well. Uh, and you see, again, just everything just painted so nice. Even your heater box cover back here, you'll notice it's all brand new and detailed very nicely. You see it's got the stainless steel braided lines there as well. Uh, HEI distributor in the back, and those are big Excel Pro Sleeve spark plug wires to help deliver that spark. Uh, the fire to that motor so uh, other than that that's pretty much it for our truck just a beautiful piece